Good day everyone, I'm Vientilis Pijudores, studying Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering at Batanga State University. Today we are going to make an AutoCAD activity that will test our skills in terms of uh, making lines, uh, putting angular dimensions, putting linear dimensions, and following coordinates uh, in making figures. So this is the figure that we are going to make for us to know if we're can already execute these skills that we mentioned. So first we need a new drawing and then I'm going to put the picture on the screen for you and me to be guided. The starting point of our figure has a coordinate of 1, 1. So we're going to click line and then as you can see there are two boxes that contains numbers. So it specifies the coordinate so first we will put one and then comma one enter so we're uh, since i am in a ratio of one is to one so we are going to zoom in because it's too small for you to see on that distance so here is our starting point and then the next point is just a straight line going to the right with an angle of 4.11 as you can see there is a highlighted number on top of the line um, it is a measurement for length so since we are using coordinates we are going to click hashtag so shift 3 so we are going to type 4.1 comma 1 so so that is our second point. And then our next point is 4.5, 2.2. So again, we are going to shift 3 for the hashtag and enter 4.5, comma, 2.2, enter. So here is our figure. As you can see, we are, uh, we are already going there so after this third point we are now going to use length this is already set up for length as you can see the box top, the box above with the highlighted number is considered for length so we are going we are just going to type 2.3 a straight line of 2.3 going to the right so we, we will just click enter and then here it is as you can see from here since we need 150 degrees with 1.4 length as we can see, if I tilt the line going to the left, it is 150. But as you can see in the figure, it is not right. So what I do with this situation is, I imagine the protractor uh, flipped. So if this is 0, this is 180. I imagine this as, this is the 180 and this is the 0. For us to obtain 150, we will just need to uh, make 30 degrees right here. So, if it is set into 30 degrees, you can now type the length. So, we have 1.4. Okay. Next is just a straight line going up. Straight line going up with 2.1. So, we will just type 2.1. So here, as we can see, we also need a 150 degrees width, 1.6 length. So it is the same situation as this one. We need to make a 150 degrees, but it is um, not right if we do it this way. Like this is 150 degrees, but as we can see in the figure or example figure, it is not right. So what we will do is imagine that this is 180 degrees and then this is the zero point. So if this is 180 degrees and we are going to make 150, so 180 minus 150 is 30 degrees. So we will add 30 degrees going to the right. So this is 90 plus 30 is 120. So, we are going to make this into 120 and then type 1. 
six. So this is already a hundred and twenty degrees with one point six length, and then the next is a line going to the left with one point. So we are just going to make a straight line, and then entering one point three. And a downward line with a length of 1.4. So we are just going to make a straight downward line with 1.4. And then we need a 45 degree of 2.2 length. So we are going to make again a 45 degrees. But as you can see, we have a problem again that this is not going to 45 degrees. So so if this is 90 degrees, we are just going to add 45 degrees. So 90 degrees plus 45 is 135. So it is 135 already and we are going to put 2.2 as the length. And then a straight line with a length of 1. We'll just enter 1. And then another 45 degree angle with 1.5. So if this is 90 degrees, we are just going to add again 135. So this is already a 135 with a length of 1.5. And then another straight line going to the left of 1.4. Oh, I'm sorry, 1.0. And then, a diagonal line with 2.3 length and an angle of 60 degrees. So, this will not be our problem. We will not solve or anything to get the diagonal because it already started at 0. So, 0 going to 60. Now that we have 60, we are going to type 2.3 as the length. So to continue this point, we are just going to connect this point to the starting point. And then press escape. So the figure that you see and what we did is already the same. So now we are finished making the figures. We are now going to put the dimensions, the angular dimensions, the linear dimensions, and the coordinates. So we are we're going to start first on the linear dimension. So, so for us to put linear dimensions, proper linear dimensions, we are not. We are going to click annotate, and then click this button. We're going to click standard, and then manage dimension styles, modify. Since I use a small figure because of what i've set my ratio i use 0 0.25 text height and then you can see here on the right what it will look when we apply the dimensions so we're going to press ok then close this then we're going to home and then here dimension since we're going to make linear dimensions first we are going to click linear and then we are just going to click on a specific point going to the end point so we are all first going to do this part so we're going to click this and then click this so we're just going to drag it down as far as what we desire so we put 2.3 as you can see here, we have four decimal places. I want to change it into uh, one decimal place only. So I'm going to get back again and annotate standard and then manage dimension styles, modify. I'm going to primary units and then change this into one decimal place. And then as you can see here, we now have one decimal place. I'm gonna also change the text height because I think it's too big. So I'm just going to use uh, 15 so we're just going to press ok and then close as you can see here our dimension is already smaller and it is set to one decimal plate okay so for parts like this 
which is tilted, we're going to use aligned. We're going to click align and then click this starting point going to the end point and we will get this 1.4 like in the figure. And then since this is this is a straight line, we're going to use again linear. And then from this point going to this point should give us 2.1. So we are right 2.1. And then another tilted line, so we're going to use again a line. So we'll start here, going to here, and it will sh it should give us 1.6. Another straight line, linear, should give us 1.3. Straight line again, so click it again, and here, going to here. I'm going to put this inside. So we have 1.4 and then another tilted line aligned from here going to here. We have 2.2. I'm going to put this also in screen. And then another straight line. So we're going to use the linear. This should give us 1. And then Tilted line, 1.5, and then straight line, here and then here, we have 1.5, but this should be inside, so we're going to delete this and make another one. One point five, and then our next is should be outside. One point zero, and then tilted line again. We're going to use a line. So from here, going to here, we should have two point three, and then now. It is time for the angular dimension. So for us to make the angular dimensions, we are just going to change this into angular. So we're going to click the two lines that we are going to measure the angle. So uh, in this case, we're going to click the 2.3 and 1.4. So it will already give you what angle it is. As you can see, it gave us 150. So I'm just going to put it right here and then another one is these two lines so i'm going to click angular again click these two lines and then 150 degrees again next is these two lines we should obtain 45 degrees so as you can see we have 45 degrees and for the last two as you can see in the figure uh, we need to make first an extension line so we're just we will click the line again and then put the cursor on the end point of what we are going to extend and then we will just follow the green line so i'm going to put it right here on the x mark and then i want it to have a length of one so i'm just going to enter this and then press escape and also same for this part i'm just going to follow the green line in here with the length of one also press escape again so as you can see i've already made the extension line now we're going to make the angular dimension so we're going to click the angular and then click these two lines this the extension line and this line so click this and this so you can see now that we have 45 degrees right here which is correct from our figure and then next click again the angular dimension and then click this line and this line so we have 120 degrees which is correct so the last thing that we need to do is put the coordinates so what we're going to do is 
go and annotate, and then click multi-line text. So we're going to put the coordinates right here. I'm going to make a box. And when you click this, um, you can see that the text editor will appear on the top. So we're going to make it standard. I'm going to click standard and then make this smaller because as you can see here, it is very big. So we're just going to make this 0 0.50 for it to be the same as our linear and angular dimension. So we're going to press enter. And then you can see the box here is already smaller. So we're going to put our dimension of 1, 1. Mm. So as you can see, our dimension is already placed right here. And then I'm just going to control C and then control V. I'm just going to insert it right here and then double click it to edit the coordinates. So it is 4.1 and 1. I'm just going to click here. And then our last coordinate is placed right here. Again, I'm just going to control C this and then paste it right here. Double click for editing and then it is 4.5 and 2.2. So that's it for our figure today. As you can see on our sample picture and what we did is we have similar angular dimension, we have similar linear dimension, and similar coordinates, as well as the similar shape of the figure. So, I hope you learned something today and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again on our next AutoCAD activity. Thank you!